Hello, Future Editing Becky here. I'm just about to sit down and get going with the vlog. And I realised that I forgot to mention this. In fact, look, you can see there's a bag of books behind me ready for a book haul. Um, I am fully vaccinated and I've even had my flu jab this season. And in England, there is now no requirement to wear a mask at all. But it is recommended to carry on wearing them in crowded places. So I wore my mask as much as possible because at a restaurant or a cafe, you you can't wear a mask you're eating. So I just wanted to point that out before we got on to the vlog. I hope you enjoy it. Good morning. It is just after 9am on Monday the 4th of October. So yes, starting a vlog on a Monday morning. Um, I thought I would take you with me for the next couple of days. It might be fun. Um, I... <laughs> I have a taxi coming to pick me up in about an hour to take me to the train station and I have just under a two hour train journey ahead of me because I'm going to Nottingham for a couple of days. There's nothing on at Nottingham, I just felt like it was it's time to just get out a little bit more. Um, it's It's been a while, <laughs> let's just say. The last proper trip I took away was February, beginning of February last year to London with my mum and dad to see a concert and then at the beginning of March I went over to see Zara and that was really the last time I did a lot of anything. Um, there was a huge stretch of time you weren't allowed to travel at all and then as regulations and things changed I went to see my parents but that's really it for more than 18 months. Um, so um, Nottingham it's not too far away, um, a very familiar city, I go there, used to go there quite a lot, so I thought I would book a hotel and just spend a couple of days wandering around and taking my Kindle because I'm planning on spending a chunk of time reading in the evenings. I don't have really a lot of anything planned. Um, I'm getting there um, early afternoon today. I have all of tomorrow and then I'm leaving at lunchtime on Wednesday and I'll be back here sort of mid-afternoon, early evening. So not a huge amount of time, but some of my first trip since all of this thing happened. And I'm kind of nervous and excited. I've got plenty of masks and I do have a bit of shopping I want to do because it's my favourite Waterstones I've been in, in Nottingham. It's huge. I'm looking forward to reacquainting myself with the science fiction and fantasy section. There's quite a few independent bookshops, which I'm going to be checking out. There's charity shops. There's an Oxfam bookshop. There's a Forbidden Planet, which is exciting. There's a Bird and Blend shop and there's a Wittard tea shop. So those are all the important things, along with the big massive boots so that I can go and perhaps go and buy some shiny makeup things. You know, just fun things. Um, my hotel is in the city centre. It's a little bit away from the shopping area that I normally go to, but only a few streets over. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what that's like, because quite often when I go away before on a city, we'll go to a Premier Inn, Travel Lodge, that sort of thing. It's familiar. And when I've been to Nottingham overnight before, there's a hotel just near the train station called Jury's Inn, which is really well priced, would normally stay there, because it's a good place if you're going to a concert, it's walkable to the arena. But this is a hotel I found online, never stayed there, it looked nice, I thought I would give it a try and I've just got to finish a little bit of packing. But while on the train I will be reading my Kindle and I will be starting Children of Fallen Gods by Carissa Broadbent which is the sequel to Daughter of No Worlds um, because I really need to know what happens next to Tisana and Max Antarius. So, I'm going to go and finish off the things I need to do and I will talk to you later.
please excuse the used mask on the bed. I raced across town. This is very nice. Uh, they did let me check in a little bit early, which is great because I can dump my stuff. It's a lot warmer than I thought it was going to be. And go and get some lunch. So, bathroom is in there. It's just a bog standard bathroom, nothing fancy about it. But this is really nice. Huge bed. Leaving the coat here. It's warmer than I thought, so I'm just going to go and sort my stuff out and then go and find some lunch. But this is where I am for the next two nights. Oh, there's a bookshop. And there's a tea shop. And then there's another tea shop around the corner. It is 20 past three and I'm back in my room. I'm just gonna move away from the aircon, that's rather loud. Um, I've been out, I've done a little bit of shopping. I haven't done a vast amount, there's no rush. I'm here for a couple of days. Um, I didn't record a lot while I was out because really it's busy and I just feel a little bit self-conscious about it. But I have bought some tea. I have been tea shopping and that's the exciting thing. And I bought a canvas tote as well the tea I wanted is actually sold out and the delivery is coming Wednesday morning and I'm leaving Wednesday lunchtime so I'm gonna try and get in and hope that they've restocked I went to Waterstones did buy a couple of books and I went to Forbidden Planet and it's basically it's just graphic novels and manga so didn't buy anything from there and that's really it um, just wandering about a bit not rushing just relaxing um, I'm gonna read now it is ten past five I've got changed I'm gonna go out in a bit I don't fancy being too late out tonight um, I found a place online but I haven't booked anything so I'm gonna see if I can go and eat or if I should have booked something um, if I should have booked something I'll probably just eat in the hotel restaurant and then book somewhere tomorrow night but I'm wearing a nice dress I feel all fancy I'm gonna go and see if I can eat at this place I found but tomorrow lunchtime I'm tempted to book into the cat cafe I can go and have lunch surrounded by cats or not if they don't fancy being near me or if they're going to sleep somewhere else but you need to book that online so I might do that that sounds like fun so yeah I'm just gonna get ready it's dark getting dark um i don't know if it's raining i have the worst view i think i've ever had in a hotel considering i've had some good wall views i have the most depressing view ever so let me just show you so shut the curtains so is this oh come on this is going well okay so it's this little courtyard and it's in completely enclosed so obviously no one's ever cleaned the windows and and that's it that's it. So for, for views, that's like probably the most depressing hotel view I've ever had. Um, but yes, uh, I can't even tell if it's raining. But I'm going to take my coat. I'm going to see if I can find this place. There are so many mirrors in this hotel room and not a single one of them has good lighting for makeup. It does worry me slightly that there's two packets of earplugs in the hotel room. But then the air conditioning is really loud and it does get really stuffy if you turn it off. So I'm hoping it's for that. Good morning. It is just after 20 past eight, I think, on Tuesday the 5th, yes. I'm wearing the same dress I wore last night. I only wore this for about an hour and a half, so I'm not being disgusting, I promise. Um, so, my lucky streak of hotels continues because if you'll notice that when I've vlogged, I've not really stayed in the same hotel room. I am staying in the same hotel room, but they gave me the key to another room so I could use the bathroom this morning. Uh, the sink in mine doesn't drain, so maintenance is coming, but later on this morning, and I'm, I'm not staying in all morning waiting for that, so they gave me another bathroom to use. Um, fairly good night's sleep. Um, I haven't dried my hair, but I'm going out for some breakfast. I think I'm just gonna go to Costa or something for breakfast, and then I've got lunch booked for 1pm, which is exciting. 
Um, it's a place I've wanted to go for quite some time and I'll show you later on and this morning I'm going to do a bit of makeup shopping because there's a giant boots and a department store. I can't remember which one is that still remains. There's not many of them left. I also want to go to Kiko to get some more eyeliner and there is that second hand bookshop just around the corner from me and also an Oxfam bookshop uh, further into Nottingham so plenty to do this morning. Lunch is booked at one so I've got quite a lot to fit in. Wow my hair. Um, I've checked the forecast and it's definitely coat and umbrella weather today. Brilliant. o'clock back in the room my feet are killing me I, I've walked a lot today and I've given up I was gonna go around to Hobbycraft because it's quite a good one here but it means getting a taxi round and walking back because it's right on the other end of things and I just wasn't feeling it and I was like what if I get all the way to Hobbycraft and I don't buy anything and then I've got to walk all the way back so I've, I've given up, I, I just didn't. Not too much footage today I'm afraid because again it's really busy and I feel really self-conscious about it but I, th I know no one would really pay any attention to me but I, I do think I've got some cute footage of the cats at the ca cafe, it was so cute. Um, one of the kittens sat on my lap for a bit and um, I would have liked to keep her but she's got to stay at the cat cafe. And um, have bought some books, uh, a few books not many books I've got to say the charity shop selection around here I thought would be good because it's a major city but no um, really disappointing all round for the charity shops apart from Oxfam the Oxfam bookshop was still really good bought something from there the charity shops around here are all set up for the students because obviously Nottingham University is such a massive part of the city and the entirety of all the charity shops I went into was just quirky clothes cookbooks and furniture that was all of them so not a lot of selection and if they did have a science fiction and fantasy section 
it was Game of Thrones and that was it and there wasn't a lot at that second hand bookshop either I didn't buy anything from there so um don't know what I'm going to eat tonight I really have no idea because right now I'm still full of lunch so I'm not in the mood for deciding what I want to eat um, I'm gonna read for a bit and then just relax let the feet rest before going back out did go to hobby craft it was a disappointment so I've got to walk back into city centre because I managed to get a taxi out here don't know any local firms I can't bother to wait I know I could look it up but there you go so 25 minute walk lots of traffic the range was good but I'll show you that when I get back to the room It's just before half past six and I've had a bit of a relax, freshened up and got changed. I've got this uh, dress on, I feel quite fancy. Um, I don't know what I fancy tonight. I really don't know what I'm in the mood for. I'm just gonna go out and see if anything takes my fancy, have a quick look on my phone and uh, I'll let you know what I end up with. But half of me really doesn't feel like going out but I have no other way of acquiring food. So this is my I'm tired now and full of food face. Um, I think I've walked enough today. It's eight o'clock. I'm probably going to go to sleep soon and I know that part of my plan was to spend some time reading spend some time away from it all do a bit of shopping do a bit of reading but I've ended up walking around a lot more than I thought and didn't get a lot of reading done but um things that I bought this afternoon include a colouring book from the works now I'm really fussy with my colouring books and I only like one-sided colouring books and fortunately this one is and most of the others weren't so I didn't buy the others and um, I don't know if I'm going to use the clip of me walking back from Hobbycraft because I don't know how loud the traffic noise was but I got a taxi over to Hobbycraft and I don't know where all the washi tape's gone I mean I know it's been a little while since I went to Hobbycraft but there's, there's no washi tape at all no washi tape and you think like the planner people are, are enough to make sure there's stuff in and it was a few years ago that I managed to go on by quite a bit but you know it I wasn't expecting it to be completely gone so I also went to the range which was in the same retail park and my range is it's got a fairly small craft section but this one was massive and I did find some washi tape and I've actually seen this online and I kept meaning to get this one delivered to my my shop so I could have it and it's really nice and you know, like really earth toned neutrals not exactly my sort of thing normally but I saw it and I thought it was pretty and they had it in stock so I'm stuffed full of delicious food it was so good um it always it throws people off so much when you ask for a table for one and I ended up with this massive round table rather than one of the little two seater tables which I was expecting to get I just did not qu really quite know what to do with me but got seated food was amazing and uh, I'm just gonna lay here and digest it a bit and get some sleep because I've got to pack everything tomorrow and I've done exactly what I thought I would I've, I've got to try and cram all of it into the suitcase so that's gonna be fun in the morning but that's a morning job it's definitely a morning job it's gonna lay in bed maybe read a bit probably fall asleep Good morning, it is about 9am on Wednesday the 6th. Um, I'm getting ready to check out, I'm all packed. I've managed to get everything into my suitcase and my backpack, which was the plan. The books fit in the backpack, did not buy too many books, although it's gonna be heavy, but the plan is to just really get to the train station. I was going to um, wait to check out and go to Bird and Blend but I want to go and get some breakfast so I think I'm going to go and check out now and I've had a lovely couple of days it's been exactly what I wanted 
I walked 12 miles yesterday according to the fitness app on my phone which explains why my feet are still sore but not as much walking today just to the train station get some breakfast come back and get some tea um what else oh I checked my train this morning and apparently I booked the half past two train home which uh, is great but I checked my train tickets and it only says off peak travel doesn't actually give the time of the train I booked which means I could travel on any other off peak journey and that is one at half past 12 so I'm going to be taking that train home so um, I'm going to finish off in here go and find some breakfast go and buy some more tea and then go to the train station um, just wondering if I should have a sneaky trip around to Waterstones no I really don't need to be carrying any more books home and I'm going to see Zara on Saturday I'll be buying some more books then. I should really leave Waterstones alone then. Anyway, I will check in with you later. Remember, always double check your hotel room before leaving. I left my shampoo and conditioner and shower gel in the shower, um, which meant I had to unzip my very, very tightly packed suitcase and try and cram them in. Um, anyway, one last check and then I'm going. Mm -hmm.